Welcome to What You Really Want to Know. I am attorney Amanda Schaefer. Today we answer the question, what should I have my doctor include in a letter for immigration? So you may need a doctor letter for many different things um, through your immigration journey, whether it be with USCIS or in immigration court. A lot of times they're used with extreme hardship waivers like a 601 or a 601A waiver. They may be used for cancellation of removal, um, even for VAWA, U visas for crime victims or T visas for trafficking victims. Um, and sometimes they're used for humanitarian purposes like humanitarian parole. You need a family member to get into the US uh, who's been denied a visa to help you because you're getting a surgery. Or maybe you need to go visit a sick and dying loved one and you're inside the country and you're, you're applying for advanced parole. So there can be many different uses and I, I've probably missed a few along the way. So what should you have your doctor write in the letter? Well, number one, you want your doctor to use their letterhead. Simple enough. Then you want the doctor to write your diagnosis or your whoever's diagnosis the letter is about. So basically you want the doctor to say, what's wrong with you? They can put the DSM code if they want. It's not necessary as long as they describe the medical condition or conditions in layman terms. Next, you're gonna want the doctor to list the prognosis. This means what the likely outcome of your diagnosis is gonna be. So is this something that is chronic or acute, short-term or long-term lasting? Is it treatable? Is it not treatable? Whatever the case may be. And finally, you're gonna want the doctor to write what your treatment plan is. So obviously, if it's not treatable, they're gonna say, well, there's no treatment. If it is, um, there may be different options, so they should talk about what you're currently trying. Or if there's a plan, if this works, do this. If this doesn't work, we're going to try this. So surgery, physical therapy, therapy, medication, whatever the case may be. And then, of course, you want to make sure this, the doctor signs and dates the letter. If your letter, for any reason, is not in English, it will need to be translated and include a certificate of translation. And I always like to tell clients it's a good idea to say when you started seeing the doctor, and how frequent you see the doctor. In some cases, you may have a different doctor who is treating you, or different doctors who are treating you for the same thing. It's perfectly fine to write that there's a team of doctors caring for you. It doesn't hurt to get doctor letters from each of those doctors saying the same thing. Um, but for example, a lot of times this happens with um, psychologists and psychiatrists. You're getting your medicine from one doctor, you're speaking to another, um, it doesn't hurt to get a letter from both. It's best to get the doctor doing the treatment or prescribing the medicine to be the one who writes the letter. So that is all for today. Don't forget us to like us and follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, wherever you are watching. And if you found this video to be helpful or know someone who may, please hit that share button or that save button so you don't miss any more of our videos. So that's it for what you really want to know. Thanks for watching.